Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. Um, the update just hit, and it's very late at night, so you know what that means. It's ASMR time, baby. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take a look at all the new monsters. Um, can't talk very loud right now, you know, obviously because the walls are like the walls are like this thin, like just it's a uh, it's rough. All right, it's rough, but we're gonna we're gonna take a look at. We're gonna take a look at uh, all the new monsters, and we're gonna take a look at their uh, their their stats. Basically, that's that's the that's the thing I'm most interested in. Um, just basically take a look at their stat distribution. So uh, we're gonna start with start with the mammoth. Let's start with the mammoth. All right. So this guy's the new fire based tank with. An AoE heal. Um, I would say he's not too bad. Maybe, maybe he can be used for Colossus. I was thinking, because he, he's basically. Um, I'd say he's relatively tanky. Three thousand five hundred HP. Uh, not too much attack. Pretty low on defense, but you know it's still two K, so it's not it's not too 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 bad. And do they have a uh, recovery recovery lead? All right, recovery lead is not that good. Um, yeah, this is his evil three form. I would have imagined it looked bigger, but you know, it is it is what it is. Uh, I guess we'll I guess we'll look at each of them first. All right, I'm hoping his attack is high. Ooh, three thousand one hundred. Mmm, he's really squishy though. Ooh, his variant color looks pretty good. So this guy is basically a a uh, straight out nuker. He's like complete 100% glass cannon. Um, yeah, basically, basically double hunter. You just want to build him with this much. Uh, you definitely do want to go like crit double attack. I think he's mostly he's better as a glass cannon. He's definitely better as a glass cannon. He could slap an HP gem on him. Oh shit, what? Wait, what? Dude, this guy's so tanky, look at him. Ooh, I'm definitely building one of these. His variant looks really nice. So, this guy's got a self, uh, well not self, he's got an HP heal for allies. So basically, um, you can basically gem him up with double HP defense. And then you can pair him up with some like HP aggressors, and he's gonna be healing for 10% of their HP every single turn. I damn, I wanna I wanna build one of these. Holy shit! So what's this one? This one is a a Titans monster. Um. Most most of his stats are in HP, which is actually pretty nice. It, it does say he's balanced, but I, I do like his stat distribution. He's a very very tanky monster, and he's mostly used for debuffing, so that's that's very nice. Just have him tanky, and he'll do he'll do very well. This guy's a dark attacker with adrenaline vengeance. Very very interesting skill set. Very nice stats as well. Yeah, basically, I was thinking putting him on a leech set with his active skill might be pretty nice. Wait, the lats are out. Wait, what is this? Wait, what? Oh, this guy's definitely the new rebirth one. He's got adrenaline hunter. Dude, and he's got PvP attack lead, 35%. Wait, what? Shock, death down, 60%, 80%. Is he tank? Aw, oh, damn, he was balanced. Alright, this this guy's got horrible stats, but that's a dark one. Um, honestly, his stats aren't too good, but they're not too bad either.
Damn, I could I could run some of these on arena offense. This thing's definitely a, a viable pick. Ooh, this dark lot looks very, very good. Very nice for new players as well. Even very nice for old players as well. That's a that's a good monster. What else were we gonna look at? Oh, I wanted to know. If, oh, dude, this guy looks so sweet. What the fuck? I wanted to know if his attack is high. What? What the fuck is his stat? This is not a. This is not an attacker stat. I'm sad. I'm sad now. Hmm. She actually has a very, very high attack. Damn, I like her color. I really like her color. I like her non-varying color. This looks so cool. The red eyes. It's got an adrenaline taunt. Um, quite tanky. Not too bad. Ooh, dude, this thing looks so fucking sweet, but unfortunately, he kind of sucks. That's that's a it's a little bit sad. Ooh, we finally have a wood taunter. She's uh she's pretty tanky too. That's, this is not too bad. There's no uh, there's no wood taunt monster with taunt on first skill, so they, they actually introduced a new wood taunt monster, so that's, that's pretty good. So a light pen pen. And the seal. Wait, he's a morale boost predator? Yeah, he's a morale boost predator, this guy's usable. Get him, get him on a siphon. He can actually, he can actually farm pretty well. Let's look at this, this guy. He's a courageous striker, attacker type. Pretty decent stats, not not too bad. Please have high attack. Oh, this one, this one's not bad either. This is quite nice. Oh, dude, I love those ears. I love those wing ears. Oh shit, dude, this color, this color looks so good. Ooh, this, this, this thing's so nice. This guy's a double sap monster. He's got very nice balance stats. Quite high for everything. Double sap. Light Yeti. Let's see if she's good. Ooh, she's pretty tanky. This is these are some good stats. These are some very good stats. I definitely build one if I can get one. This, this is a very, very good monster. Take a look at the other ones. This thing's got so much HP. It's got adrenaline too. Attack down adrenaline with like a really really high HP pool. Oh dude, these monsters look so good. You know, you know what I'm thinking? Because of how well designed, like visually, these monsters are. They're not going to be like event monsters. They're going to be the new pack. Like after they finish selling Mari, they're going to start selling this. So 
So this one's a balanced one with vengeance and adrenaline. I think he's not too bad. He's pretty... He's decent. He's got decent stats. Is it defense aggressor? Or his defense is way too low. It's kind of... Kind of not that good. But it looks really nice though, visually. This is a stun and seal. Um, quite tanky. Not not bad. I think that's pretty much it for all the new monsters. At least all the ones that matter. Wait, 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 what? Morale boost vengeance for crit? Interesting. It's a, it's a cool monster. Morale boost vengeance. 40% morale boost on crit as well. <laughs> Man, this, this seal is so cute. Look at him. Ooh, what? Attack down blind? 100% blind? Path enemy dives off, performing a powerful attack. I think this is a single target monster. Oh, dude, this thing is a... This thing is a beast. This thing's a fucking beast in Titans. Holy shit, he's got a 80% attack down and a 100% blind single target like this thing just shits on dark coco on a single target skill too like holy shit damn 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 that is uh that is that is pretty pretty damn sweet uh all right since uh since i haven't gotten to the new continent yet we're gonna we're gonna clear through star sanctuary and then we'll take a look at glacial plains all right all right i got six stages to clear can we do this it's a boss stage i might need a healer oh wait i do have a healer i'll just go with this i think i can i should be able to beat him with this never attempted this stage before never got never got this far I just got to the gold stage and I stopped. So we're gonna we're gonna finish Slumbering City and then we'll move on to the next map together. I should have used my light Coco instead of Indra. Might have been more, might have been safer. The boss is a fire gin as well, so we'll need to be careful. If he charges his bar to full, could mean trouble. Alright, this should kill the AoE side units, I think. The AoE should kill the side units. Alright, never mind, never mind. Ooh, shit, my Jin's in trouble. But this should be a full heal for the Jin. And he's dead. Alright. That wasn't that wasn't too difficult. <laughs> Maybe we'll we'll run into some of the pen pens. I just want to take a new. I just want to take one look at the new, uh, new continent and everything. Oh shit! There's water-based monsters. This is bad. It's bad news for my gin. Ooh. All right. I hope there's not too much water on the second wave because he's gonna die. All right. There's only one water. We're good. I 
I've never actually... Wait, did they make did they make Slumbering City easier? It actually feels easier. I heard they were gonna nerf the, the Slumbering City, right? That's why it's so much easier. Wait, they did nerf it. Look at look at the levels of the uh, the mobs. They used to be level ninety. Now they're only like level seventy eight. Yeah, they nerfed it. They nerfed this, the they nerfed Slumbering City. Well, I never knew you could catch dark sparklers or these uh these water thingies these water teapots I never knew you can catch those wait does this mean even more OP gold farm? I don't think I need to farm Star Sanctuary anymore. It's time to farm Slumbering City. I'm just very curious what the uh, the new maps, what element it's going to be for the gold stage. Yeah, the Jin can one shot. So like, if he can get a full bar on turn one, I can I can get my farm as fast as uh as fast as Star Sanctuary, like 30, 36 seconds. I see it. I see hope. Yeah, it's those 39. Ooh, these Rabonis. They're hurting a little bit. Uh, the annoying thing about Slumbering City is their mobs. Their mobs are like super annoying. Look at them. They 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 put attack down on on your guys. That's why it's that's why it slows down your runs. Dang, this is pretty nice. Damn, I think if I had a Fire Siegfried, like Evil 3, I can farm this under 40 seconds. Shit, I think my Jin's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Unless he gets like a lot of the heals. Alright, he died. Rip. Sad. It's alright, the other three got this. I mean, if it gets too hard, I'll just throw in a healer. 
I'll just like throw in Wood Nightmare or something. Should be able to beat the new stage. Alright, this should be a boss stage. It's the uh, Mera boss stage. I hope there's not too many Rabonis to kill my Jin. You know what? We're gonna just focus one of them down. We're gonna kill one of them. We're just straight out kill one. I'm gonna kill the other one as well. Oh, I think my Indra's dead. Ooh, almost. Whew, close one. I need to I need to get my snowy on siphon again. I think if I ran a siphon snowy, it'd be really nice as well. Ooh, this boss is quite tanky. No, not the Indra. <laughs> well, fatigue actually counters siphon. Oh shit, this is gonna hurt. Oh my god, am I getting wrecked? I think we got this. One more turn and we win. Oh no, the thirst. Come on, die. Dude, what the fuck? Solo. Come on, crit. Yes. <laughs> that was uh, that was fucking troll. Alright, we're we're in glacial plains. Um, so yeah, the mammoth are the legendaries, the uh, yetis are the rares. I mean, the yetis are the super rares. The the uh, wendigos are the uh, are the rares. Yes. Seems to be mostly water and wood. All the way up to the gold stage. Wait, are we even able to look at the new map? Right, you know what? We're we're gonna we're gonna speed clear this all the way up to map 18, so we can take a look at the new map afterwards. Well, these guys are level 66. Well, I think I think they're going to be level 100 or something. Like if you try to farm this stage, they're going to be level 100. If you if you farm on extreme, they're going to be like level 100. Might have to use aggressors to farm this. Dang, this is pretty rough. Wait, if it gives you fruits, it doesn't give you gems? I thought I, I always thought it gave both. God, so much damage on my gin. I just want to see what the uh, the gold stage of uh, Aurora Plateau, what element it is.
Because that, that's the new slumbering city. Slumbering city is the new star sanctuary, and the new map is the new slumbering city. Oh, they drop... They, they drop zeal. You know, wouldn't it be sick if you could farm siphon gems here, like 4 star siphon? It would actually be worth it. I'm telling you guys, that pen pen ex event exists just to cuck like people. It literally exists just to cuck people. Cause, um, you can catch the pen pens right here. Dude, I want that dark seal though. That that uh, that dark seal thingy. I want one of those. Dude, imagine if you can get those from Light Dark Eggs. Wait, maybe you can get those from Light Dark Eggs. You can summon one of those, and then, um... I can Evo 3 it from here, and I can also skill book it. Because it's only 3 stars, so it's going to be very cheap to skill book. Imagine if it had 100% down attack down and 100% seal. I'd be running one of those on every single one of my Titan teams. Man, should have saved all your light dark eggs for now. Even if you don't get lightning, you get a seal. It's still sweet. You know the light ones actually. Um, the light one can be pretty good too because I didn't notice that it was single target, but um, you can use it for titans. Basically, like the like a light version of the dark colt. Wait, not really, because Dark Cold has like elemental advantage instead of a uh, predator. All right, I think we're almost at the next map. Wait. Why are we still on map 4? Did I repeat a stage? Alright, we're at, we're at the Yeti boss now. We're gonna fuck her up. I think I should take my chin out. I don't think this is a good idea. Actually, never mind. Their level's too low. Doesn't matter. Wait, what? What am I clicking focus boss for? They all have full bars. Except for Jin, because elemental disadvantage. Man, that, that Indra doing work on the boss. Okay, we have some wood units now. You know what's actually really good about all these new monsters? Is they unlock your astro guide for a lot more monsters. So you actually, it's basically free astro gems that the game's giving to anyone that's willing to, willing to farm.
Damn, these these arcs do a lot of damage to my gin. Ooh, it's beautiful. I cry every time. Alright, this one's triple wood. You think these... What is this lore? Upgrading gems is extremely difficult. I'm trying to match the wavelength of a tiny gem. That's crazy. Even the best smith aren't half as good as Tina up upgrading gems. Dude, fucking bullshit. Fuck Tina. We just we just gotta get to the next map to see what they what they have in store for us. The heck is going on in the chat? Pen pen is adorable fluff ball. Deserves no hate. Nah man. The pen pens exist just to cuck you. You know why they have the pen pen event? It's to annoy players and force them to farm the last map, basically. The new maps. They, the pen pens event exists just to cuck you guys. I got a light pen pen from a light dark egg, nice. Maybe I'll get lucky. Get, get that dark seal thingy. Dude, that thing is fucking beast. Like, that is- that thing is, like, stronger than, like, a lot of the light dark nat 4s and 5s that you can get. Apprentice, you piach. Oh yes, um, my clan now has 10 spots open for apprenticeship. If you're a completely new player that joined within the last 30 days, apply to NVIDIA for, for appre clan apprenticeship. If you're a completely new player. Only players that joined in the last 30 days, I think, can become apprentice. Alright, we are at the mammoth boss. Wait, I just realized something. I need to increase the cap rate on these two maps. Or I have to. Mm, that's a lot of gold. If I encounter anything, I'm going to um, take my capture rate all the way to max. Oh my 
God, he one shot my Jin. Ooh, that Indra does so much damage on him, though. Successfully upgraded Gem of Intuition. It's you again. I haven't seen you in a long time. Her master? Okay, I, I, I don't actually care that much about the story. That little f comment about Tina though. I call bullshit. I'm actually really happy they're adding new light dark three stars to the pool because now even if you don't get lightning you can still hope for a uh, like one of those dark seals and he's super easy to evil three if you ever summon one and he's like top top tier for like all titans 80% attack down two turns 100% seal, two turns, single target as well. And he's dark, so he's element neutral against everything. Such a nice monster. And so much cheaper to build than Dark Coco, so there's that as well. Is it worth ho hoarding penguins? It's only worth hoarding penguins if you can't farm this map. Because you can capture them, like, infinitely on this map. Okay, we're almost there, I think. I think this map only has 15 stages, or is it 14? The only way to get Light Yeti is Light Dark Egg? I think so. I think they're going to do that, because I, I feel like Lat's going to be the next uh, next rebirth, because the the Lats are 4 stars. If they were 3 stars, I would I would have thought the Yetis possibly could have been the next rebirth. But I think they're just adding more monsters to the summon pool. And I'm actually glad that the Yetis are not like some sort of event monster. Or else you would see like a lot of people running for them on arena defense. And that would be cancer. We're almost there. Sorry, I literally have the fastest farming team. Don't don't worry. We're rushing there. Oh wait, I forgot. The dark lats have skill books. What if they have a like it can increase their damage of their their second skill. So they can actually nuke harder than a dark mona. Cause although they have lower base attack, if they have like a skill book increase. That would uh that would make them better than the Dark Mona. Unlike 
but unfortunately, unlike the Monas, they don't have morale boost on first skill, so it's not it's not a, as good. All right, we're at the boss now. God, they're bullying my gin. I'm definitely not farming this map with my fire mons. I I hope the next map is a uh, is wood and fire. That would be awesome. Please, please not fire and water. Fire and water would be cancerous. I mean, worst case scenario, I just use four aggressors to farm this map. Please, no one shot. Ooh, he hit my Indra. Ooh, that, that heal. That heal, though. Alright, you're definitely dead next turn. Actually, wait, we don't have our actives. Oh, you're still dead. It was hard, but we won. Not bad, not too bad at all. Um, I think we moved on to Aurora Plateau now. All right, so we got so it's the wood one. The wood one is the uh, the wood radis is the one that's obtainable. Wait, what's the gold stage? Oh, fire double dark. It's actually pretty good. Should be running water nukers for that. Ooh, what are these? Whoops, I killed it. Killed it really, really hard. Mm, the gin the gin doesn't have enough damage for a full bar on first turn. Not even against these guys. What are these things? I should go in the astroad and take a look. Alright, that is, uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, you guys all saw the maps. Um, we went through all of Glacial Plains, and we did one stage of Aurora Plateau to kind of see what the map looks like. We know what all the maps have, pretty much, now. Um, what else? Oh, there's like a weird insect. Um, that, that new monster, that two-star monster, what was it? I think it was this. Gar Gargor. Ooh, I, I like this design. Ooh, they got new two stars. This m oh yeah, the minnows. Double Adrenaline. Interesting. Double Adrenaline tank type. I was hoping he, he had some good debuffs. Possibly good for Titan's Mon. More Rail Boost Petrify. 
All right, they're not too good. Maybe there's light dark versions. There doesn't seem to be any light dark. Yep. All right. Uh, that is that's pretty much it for a first look of the new new patch. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that, and uh, hopefully you guys like the ASMR. Um. Anyways, we're gonna. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll try to get some of these monsters to try to see see their skill book upgrades, and we'll we'll take a more detailed look um, tomorrow once once I've been farming a little bit. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.